I'm uh, Drew, and here we are today. We're starting the uh, full series on sump pumps and battery backup systems. So as a plumbing company, by the way, if you love what we do here at Angel Water by educating you as to what's in, how water affects your home and your family, please subscribe, please press like, please share this with your friends. Uh, because, you know, our whole goal is just to get the word out there and educate everybody. So thank you again for joining us. We had some great questions uh, on this subject because it is springtime. we got a lot of snow here in Chicago and everyone is all worried about the how what's going to happen to their basements when that snow melts and what does it actually do. So I'm going to go through that real quick with you guys. So uh, some pumps and battery backup systems, it's asked about us a lot. We are a licensed plumbing company, so we get lots of people who will ask us, hey, you know, what's going on? You know, what, what happens? And they'll actually think that, oh, some of our water softeners causes floods in their house. But nobody really quite fully understands how they work. So I'm going to go quickly over why, what are they here for? And then what are the advantages of them? So uh, real quick, uh, when you look at a sump pump, what it's designed to do is take water out of your basement. It's designed to get it up and out of the basement. So I've got a diagram here for you so that you guys can all take a good look at it. You can see that if this is my beautiful picture of a home uh, up here, this is a little stick drawing, but uh, that's the home. And if you can imagine, this is the grass here. You can imagine as rain falls, we have little droplets that actually fall. I can use one of my favorite um, water droplets here. As that water droplet falls, it passes down into the, into the earth, and then it tries to migrate towards, this is the basement of the house, this is the foundation, and it starts migrating sideways a lot of times right towards the house. So the whole purpose of a sump pump is to be able to, in a sump pump pit, is to take that water as it pushes against the concrete, it falls down to what's called a drain tile. The drain tile then takes it to a sump pump pit. And then from there, we take a sump pump and pump that back up and out of the house. And by the way, just so you guys can see this, it actually then comes out of, the sump, uh, of this uh, pipe and it goes into another drain tile, taking it away from the home. Again, we want to get it away from the home. So again, water can actually, intrusion can come up into a drain tile from below the concrete floor. It could come from the side of the basement house, hitting the uh, concrete and then falling down to the sump pump, uh, to the drain tile, and then it finds itself into the sump pump pit. So the sump pump pit, then we need to, as it fills up, we need to get that up and out. You know, they're 30 gallons, they're, diff they're different sizes, but as it sits in that sump pump pit, we got to get that up and out. And that's why we use a sump pump and that pushes that water up and out. So hopefully you guys understand why sump pumps are there. If you don't have a sump pump working right, obviously you're going to flood your basement. If you don't have a sump pump pit designed correctly, you're going to flood your basement. If you don't have drain tile around the exterior or the foundation of your home, you're going to have some troubles because the water pushes against the concrete, cracks the concrete, then you have water intrusion again into the home. That creates a mold situation. So as a Department of Public Health licensed plumbing company, we're very concerned about your health. So if we get water intrusion into the home, there is a potential that mold at, uh, can grow inside your house. So that's very dangerous for you and your family. So we're passionate about trying to help everybody as we are in their home, understand the importance of these sump pumps. Now, um, we have, as you can see here, I've also included a check valve here. A check valve, people always ask us, what's the check valve for? Well, as you can imagine, as that pump pushes the water up and out, there is this water between here and there, and where do you think it wants to go? it wants to fall back down into that pit. So the check valve simply is a valve, check valve that just opens up, lets the water pass, and then it slowly closes so the remaining water doesn't go back into that pit. So this helps make the sump pump go off fewer times. Now, <clears throat> some articles we've, I've read as I did a little research for all of us on this, they say the sump pump should maybe go off two or three times in an hour. Now, Angel Water, our head, Quarters is located in Lake County. Okay, Lake County is called Lake County because it's the land of, yes, you got it, lakes. So because it's the land of lakes, we have a water table that's very high. So you can imagine the water table in Lake County might actually be right here. 
It's actually, we actually have some people in a town called Port Barrington where their water table is without doubt at the basement, at that level uh, where it's actually touching that sump pump pit. It's unbelievable. They have very high water tables. So uh, in those particular regards, the sump pumps do go off more often. Thus, they were out more often. So we're going to take a look at a couple of sump pumps right now and a battery backup system just to show you all what they basically look like. Now, when we take a look at this uh, sump pump, we've had a lot of clients, we've had a lot of clients ask us, what's the best sump pump to buy? Well, uh, we've sold a lot of them and we've installed a lot, right? Uh, we have clients who run to uh, the big box stores and they buy these cheap things and they say, well, you put it, put it in. And we say, sure. And in a couple of years, they're not, uh, they don't work, they're flooding. And then they like to blame the plumber because, you know, we all do this, right? It's not us, it's them, it's us, it's, it's not us, it's them. And there's always, when you point at somebody, there's always three coming back at you. So I want to teach you why it's so important that you make a quality investment into the sump pump of your house, into a battery backup system. Because if your basement's uh, furnished, um, even if you have just children in the house and it's not furnished, mold can, can occur by having water intrusion into the basement of the house. It's very, very tricky. And by the way, to get rid of water out of the basement, a remediation company is extremely expensive. So a little bit of money up front will prevent major catastrophes in the back run, on the backside. So um, we had a Dave from Florida. Uh, he's not actually, uh, uh, he, he wrote us, but he doesn't have, he, he has a couple of questions because he used to live up here uh, where he's at in Florida. He does not really have a, a need for a sump pump, but he had a great question. Um, and that was, why does it affect the sub? Uh, a basement of a house if water does get into it. And again, it creates mold in a mold environment and or it could ruin things in your basement, your furnace. It can create rust in your furnace. It can do a lot of different things. All that moisture can ruin uh, if you have a beautiful uh, carpets and, and fixtures. And even if you have wood, if you built out the basement and they used wood to build the walls, that wood soaks up the water. Drywall, like you see here, drywall is like a wick. If it touches the ground and water comes, it just wicks it up and then you have major, major, major catastrophes. So a few ounces or a few dollars up front would really protect you because as manufacturers make some pumps, they can make them cheaper. And you can imagine a big box store, what do they do? We all know that. They call the manufacturer, they say, I'm gonna buy 100,000 of these, but I want it at this price point. So what does a manufacturer do? They cheapen it out. They make it with plastic everywhere they can. They cheap out the motor. The next thing you know, they go, here you go. And instead of having a five-year warranty, it is a three-year warranty and every, or two-year warranty. And everyone says, okay, great. We hit this price point. The problem is, is that this is something that is protecting the basement of your home. It's so important to your home. So I can't stress, I can't stress the importance of why this is so important for you to spend a couple extra dollars. Now, Almost every plumber on the market will tell you that the best, uh, one of the best sump pumps on the market is called a Zoller. That's this green guy down here. A Zoller sump pump is a very heavy duty cast iron sump pump. They are very durable. We've had very good luck with them. Uh, but again, depending on where you live, if they're going off more often, you're gonna need to replace it a little bit uh, before even its warranty period. We do see them around five years in Lake County. They start giving, giving up the ghost, but they are the most durable. They are the most uh, reliable. The second most popular product or su successful sump pump that we've used as far as a uh, pump system is the uh, Aquanaut. That's this system right here. You can see that we even have a battery backup design here. Now, these things, if you take a close look at it, all of these have check valves. So this is a check valve. Uh, this has an internal check valve, and here's another external check valve. So these check valves are, again, what prevents the water from coming back down, filling up that pit prematurely, and making that pump go off more often. If you hear banging, like bang, bang, you know, you hear the pump, the sump pump go off, and then you hear a bang, that's because you don't have a silent or quiet check valve. These check valves are just spring loaded, so basically they go slow. If you have a cheap uh, a check valve, they open, and then when you, the, the pump turns off, 
they just bang down. So that's what wakes people up at night. They always ask us, why does that happen? So it's not the boogeyman, just so you guys know, it's not the boogeyman. It's just something, it's your uh, check valve. You can buy a quiet check valve. They're not that much money. Our plumbers are happy to install them for you, or I'm sure contact your plumber and they'll be able to help you out with that. Now, you can see here what we have is a backup design uh, made by uh, Zoller here, and we have two pumps. Now, we do like this system. Uh, it does, what you can see there is there's two, but they're pigeon toed off one another, right? So we have one lower pump and a higher pump. The purpose of one being lower is that it mainly takes the water. Now, if some of you have this sump pump system, you have to remember that once a month, your job is to unplug the primary pump. So again, the lower pump is the primary, and this is the backup pump. This is usually a, uh, a low a, a DC pump, while this is an AC pump, meaning DC is it's connected to a battery. So what happens is during the day, this little charger charges up the battery and gives it a bunch of electricity so it can give you about five hours of protection. Yes, that's it, five hours, maybe longer, depends on how often that pump is going on and off. So you got about five hours for the protection with a deep cell marine battery backup. Now, uh, again, this pump is the primary, so the secondary may never go off. So if you read the directions, what do they say? They say you have to unplug the primary so that what you do is allow this secondary pump to kick on. If you notice, it also sits very high. So a lot of times, some homes, the water doesn't even touch it. And that is does cause a problem because if it doesn't get water touching it, it seizes up. So it's kind of a it's kind of a difficult thing to to deal with, uh, and it does require maintenance from you. Again, everything in your home requires maintenance. We all, as uh, plumbers, our plum our or our plumbers deal deal with this all the time. We have people like, well, why is this happening? It's like, well, there are some things in your home that you have to maintain. There is no such thing as plug and play and forget about it. There are mechanical devices. They need regular assistance, like your water heater. Your water heater requires you to flush it once a year, once a month. Well, again, once a month, you should, if you have this kind of a battery backup system, unplug the primary, fill up that pit, make sure the backup pump goes off and on because that's what the manufacturer recommends. Now, there are other systems on the market. Uh, the second one that we do is called Pro Series. That's this guy here. This Pro Series is a little bit more smart. It's got a little technology behind it. It also goes on Wi-Fi. We love the Pro Series products um, only because it has a computer that says, you know what, we're going to rotate the water pump between the primary and the secondary on a regular basis to keep that thing looped up. As you can imagine, if you just stood still and you're a pump and you don't move for 30 days, it's going to be really hard for your body to get going again, right? Any of you out there who've been sick, laid up, uh, God forbid, if anyone's been on COVID, you know what it's like. You're laying in bed and when you finally get out, you're like, you can barely move. Well, the same thing occurs with your pump. If the pump doesn't get activated, there's a problem. So that's why the technology that this company offers is actually really great because it will rotate between these two pumps. It has its individual float switches per one. It's got a little computer and a little bit, little uh, technology to be able to alternate uh, it and also make sure that the battery is on and it makes, it sends Wi-Fi messages to you that, hey, your battery needs to be replaced, which by the way, every few years you have to replace the the uh, deep cell battery because it does go bad. So what we deal with on a regular basis is where our clients are pulling their hair out. They're like, oh, I got this sump pump system and it's not working quick, get over here. And we're getting an emergency call late at night. And so we're running plumbers out there at a very high cost to the customer, all because they didn't replace the battery every three to five years, whatever the manufacturer recommends. They didn't rotate or turn off the primary pump and let the secondary go out. So those are some of the things that you need to know about those, the sub pump systems and uh, battery backup systems. Some of our clients also ask us, wait, wait a second, what is this other pump in the basement? There are, There is one other pump that's in many basements, not all, uh, and that's called an ejector pump. And so what you need to know is an ejector pump is designed to take sewage up into the septic system 
of the house. It's not designed to take away that groundwater that builds around the outside of the house. So injector pumps, the primary one we use is the Zoller. It's got a great metal impeller, so it works very, very well. By the way, speaking of metal, what's nice about this Pro Series, as you can see, it's stainless steel. The stainless steel is great for a lot of people who have water softeners. Why? Because the older water softeners dump salt into the sump pump pit when it goes through a cleaning cycle. Salt does what to metal? It eats it, right? So since it eats it, the stainless steel tends to last a lot longer. The, uh, the cast iron ones, they tend to get pitted out, and that's why we talk to our clients a lot about having high-quality water softeners that have what's called zero chloride discharge, so they don't ruin this system for you because the salt can ruin it. So what I hope that I've explained to you today is the intimate relationship between what even a water softener will have with a sump pump or a battery backup system, just because that salt can actually ruin sump pumps. And so if you're looking to uh, prevent that from happening, if you're looking to be able to get a longer life and prevent mold from entering your house, uh, water from ruining the furnace and the metal appliances that you have in the house. If you're looking to be able to protect your family and your home, then please give us a call, give us an email. We get a lot of questions a lot of the times. In fact, a couple of questions to here today, Matt to send us a question on what, tell us the best battery backup system. Now, again, we like this one. It doesn't mean that all the other ones are bad. We just like this one because it's stainless steel. It, got, it has its individual float systems. And um, we love the technology behind it because it alternates the power between. So those are some of the key features of a battery backup system. Matt, thank you so much for that email, by the way, uh, during the week. If you guys have any further questions, please reach out to Angel Water. We're reachable at 847-382-7800. Or you can visit us on the web. You can always fill out a questionnaire form and we can get back to you. Or you can email me. Um, we're grateful to have the opportunity to serve each and every one of you. Uh, again, please press like on the bottom of the page and please forward this to anybody who has a basement that lives in the area that can actually use this uh, information so they're a little bit better educated as to why the sump pumps are important and how to take care of them. Thanks again for your time and I'm Drew.